Hey everyone, Jack Curry with Intentional Walk. It was a whirlwind day for Aaron Judge at spring training today. We learned early in the day that he's dealing with a sore and cranky right shoulder, so he did not participate in BP. He and Aaron Boone both called it a minor issue. He also fielded a lot of questions about the Houston Astros sign-stealing scandal. He said he's angry that he believes the Astros deprived the Yankees of a potential chance to go to the World Series, and he doesn't think that trophy holds any value to them because they didn't earn it. But earlier today, I had a much more serious and somber conversation with Aaron Judge because we talked about John Altabelli. Altabelli, his wife, and his daughter were among the nine people who perished in the helicopter crash that also killed Kobe Bryant and his daughter. Altabelli coached Judge in the Cape Cod Summer League in 2012, and Judge told me a terrific story about interacting with Altabelli. His first game in the Cape Cod League, he had a terrible game. He struck out, he tapped out a couple times, barely got the ball out of the infield, and he wasn't feeling good about himself. And Altabelli told him, you need to relax. Three at-bats and three good swings from Aaron Judge, good things are going to happen. And Judge said a switch flipped in his head, and that resonated. He relaxed. He had a great summer in the Cape Cod League for the Brewster Whitecaps, and a year later, the Yankees drafted him. Now let's fast forward to 2017. The Yankees are playing the Angels out in Anaheim, and Altabelli was at the game, and he was sitting in those cool premium seats along the third base side, and Aaron Judge hit a home run. And as he was rounding third, he saw Altabelli, and he yelled out, good things happen when Aaron Judge swings the bat three times. That was his lasting memory of Altabelli, the smile that Altabelli had when he yelled that, and the smile that Judge has as he yelled it to Altabelli. And that was the story that he told me and the way that he'll remember the great coach who was also a great man.